Now let's notice 1 John 3 and verse 9 tells us about a future event. event. It says, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. Now, here's the thing. You're going to be born into the family of God at the resurrection. You're not yet born into the family. You've been begotten by the Spirit of God, if you have the Spirit of God, if you've gone down in the waters of baptism, if you repented of your sin, if you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You've been begotten by the Spirit of God. You've been impregnated. You've been given God's spiritual DNA that is working inside of you. But when this time comes and you're born into that family, it's not going to be possible for you to commit sin. And that's a good thing. But notice it says, Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. When that change takes place at the resurrection, when you're changed from what you are now, flesh to spirit, born into God's family, it will be impossible for you to commit sin. You no longer will the flesh drag you down. If you know what I mean, I'm sure you do know, you know what I mean. When I say the flesh drags us down, it wears out, it gets old, it hurts, you got aches and pains. Then you got all the temptation that comes with the flesh. Okay, that won't be a problem when you're born into the family of God at the resurrection, at the return of Christ. Ephesians 3 and verse 14, this is a powerful verse here. It says, for, for this cause I bow my knees. In other words, this brings me to my knees, is what Paul is saying. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. God is a family. God is creating a much larger family. Verse 16, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory and to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. In other words, Paul is saying, I want you to understand. I want you to understand what God is doing through mankind. Verse 17, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height. What is, what is Paul talking about? He's saying, I want you to grasp what God is doing through mankind. I want it to enter your head. I want you to grasp what is the length, the depth, the height of what God is doing through mankind? Verse 19, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Listen to me. Your destiny is to be born into the family of God, to become children of God, sons and daughters of God. That is your destiny. And it's an incredible, awe-inspiring destiny. When you understand this, you don't just live your life any old way. You don't just go along, go around, you know, who am I? What am I? Why am I here? I don't know. I'm just here to take up space, I guess. I'm just here to irritate other people. I'm just here to bother other people. I'm just here to complain all the time. I'm just here, I'm just getting by in life. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my goal. I don't want, know what the meaning of life is. Listen, if you don't know who and what is God, if you don't know who and what is man, if you don't know why you're, you've been born, you know, the two most important days of your life is the day that you were born and the day you figure out why. Okay, and it's time you figure out why you were born, why you were put here. And this publication will answer that question. You will be amazed. You won't believe what you're reading here. It's hard to believe. It really is. But it's, but it's been there for 6,000 years in the pages of your Bible. Let us create man in our image and our likeness. God is a family. The word is Elohim, more than one. Let us, father and son, that's a family term, create man and woman in our image and after our likeness. That's what God is up to. Listen, mankind is truly God's destiny child. And that's what's really in your Bible. 
The Bible reveals that we were born for a tremendous, awe-inspiring purpose. But few really understand what that purpose is. What God is doing through mankind is revealed at the very beginning of your Bible. Let us create man in our image and after our likeness. To fully understand God's glorious purpose for mankind, order your free copy of Man, God's Destiny Child. Order by writing to Church of God Rocky Mount, 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. That's Church of God Rocky Mount, 27 Brookledge Lane, Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151. Also, check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.